there's one thing for sure, when I go on about cars having an attack on the senses. Yeah. This is this is gonna This is one of them. It's attacking more than my senses. It's attacking your spinal cord. Yeah. I am enjoying it. Yeah. I am enjoying it. I'm enjoy I'm enjoying it in uh, levels of fear and adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is quite a special situation to be in, it isn't is. it? Eh? So it has standard exhaust, but Alex, the guy who owns it, has lowered it somewhat and changed the camber slightly because yeah. he said front end turning wasn't up to uh, scratch. So he knows what he's talking. He about. knows what he's talking about. Look at the doors. I mean, it's just already a sense of occasion just yeah. being in it. That, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Engage first. Love the instrument cluster. It is like being in a jet. Yeah. We got the G force meter yeah. right below the reps. Yeah. That's all you need. That's all you need, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. And break off. This is it. We're going. First drive in an Aventador Super Veloce. Having worse days. <laughs> the owner's like, the owner's give like, it up. I'm like, whoa, it's my first hundred yards in the car. Don't want to take it. Can any. you imagine if you launched <laughs> out of here? <laughs> it feels a big car. Yep. It's fine. <laughs> How different is it to the OT? It's so different. <laughs> it's so different. It's so different to the Hurricane. Oh, bro. Do you know what? It's more refined than I thought it would be. Yeah? Because from the, the stuff you hear, it's like agricultural and it's nice. I think it is to journalists that are blessed with driving a new supercar every week. True. Yeah. But I mean, we've just hopped out of the LT, which arguably is possibly the most refined sort of supercar experience. He did say that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put it in something exciting. Sport? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the power delivery is totally different. Totally different. I need to hold on somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's in auto. How do we take it out of auto? Good job I've got a Lamborghini driver here. Oh. oh, mate. This this might turn out quite expensive. <laughs> it's not as desperately compromised as I thought it might be. Let's put it in ridiculous mode. Uh oh. It's the same, yeah.
noise is so intoxicating. It just smothers you. <laughs> so, what I would say is the first thing I'm I'm quite happy about is that the way it actually feels through the steering through the steering isn't as disconnected as I thought it would be considering its size. Yeah. But it doesn't feel a big heavy tank, and that road's quite tight and twisty. It felt like a tank on this side of the road. Yeah, man. Yeah, those bet. rocks are really like, close. Yeah, those rocks are really close, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's only when you really get up it in Corsa, it does feel like I've been hit in the back of the head with a shovel. <laughs> it's, I mean, it is aggressive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is aggressive. And this being stock, I mean, I'm going to say my, what is probably now going to be Go on. the supercars on the catchphrase. Yeah. It needs an exhaust. But the owner's getting a Larini for I it. agree with you. It does need an exhaust. I think, is that because we're so used to hearing Aventadors with exhausts? I think it needs an exhaust. I think it needs an exhaust. They always sound better from the outside too. said in my last vlog, or I hope yeah. this is my last vlog depending on when this video goes live, that we should all go and get 458s yeah, straight through and then mod them how we want and then the show them all them. at the same time. Why don't yeah. we do that with the Ventadors? <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> One of my thoughts is, and this is something to think about, in the context of the hills of Monte Carlo, yeah, awesome, yeah. how would this in go? In the real world. I mean, Watford High Street? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> if you... So, interesting thing here. My very first Audi R8 had the... Whoa, had the R-Tronic gearbox. Yeah. And it was smoother when you did a slight lift and change. Just like that. Yeah. It's almost indecipherable yeah. if you lift, but as a result, it's more of an automated manual, almost. Yeah, it takes, take, you have to think more when you drive. The downshifts are beautiful. Yeah. They are really, really nice. Right now, in the world of supercars, there is a compromise. Yeah. There just is. It's like, if you want a rear-engine V12, you've got to have what, I'm going to put it out there, a sloppy, gearbox yeah but the, the trade-off in terms of sense of occasion and drama yeah e, i mean there's not much that's gonna give you that no. like this no it's totally and the way it looks is just obscene yeah it is a, a stunning car it sounds I mean, amazing what is that a phenomenal engine but the gearbox is a bit sloppy but you're coming out of uh, an LT where McLaren meticulously design every feature of that car to be as fast as and precision as, as possible. Precision as possible. And Lamborghini just don't do that. No. Lamborghini say they don't. They don't build supercars. They build Lamborghinis. Yeah. And that's so true. It's now it, they've got their own thing, haven't they? They've yeah. totally got their own space. And what's quite interesting is, I mean, how fast do you want to go under the road? Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. I'd be interested to see. After you've driven this, and you're driving the Aventador S yeah. in a few days. It'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on it. Hopefully, it's got slightly softer suspension. This is pretty stiff, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah. In my peripheral vision, I can see you bouncing around all over the place. Now you're like. <laughs> With an exhaust? Yeah. Still adapting to how wide this thing is. 
It's a big car. It's a big car, but I think that the, the size of the steering wheel yeah. actually makes it feel a little bit smaller. Well, I fully agree. Yeah, yeah. One of the great things about this car, the nose lift actually reacts instantly, unlike the LT, where really? I have to wait. Mate, the LT. I have to wait. I know this Dude. sounds stupid, but I reckon the LT takes about 20 seconds. Really? Now, now I know 20 seconds doesn't sound much, but in the real world, when you've got traffic yeah, behind yeah, you, so you're sat there for 20 minutes, sure. so 20 seconds. The traffic, like, I've had people beat me. Like, yeah. what are you doing? I'm like, wait for my lift to go up. But the rear wheel drive hurricane is the best driving experience yes. that you get from a Lamborghini. But I, I, fully I still agree with you. I fully agree with you. Want an event or next? It's funny, right? It's weird. Is it? Because I think we're just longing for more drama, yeah. more sense of occasion. Yeah. So, forgive the really strange transition to the back of a C-Class, um, but we are we uh, we are now on our way to the airport. Yeah. That, that drive just so happened to be one that we managed to squeeze in last minute. Um, what do you think? Ooh, what? what do you think? I mean... So, so the Aventador SV previous experiences of mine have mm. been in and around central London. Okay. That car is a completely different beast. Well, we essentially just drove it in paradise exactly which beautiful which roads, amazing weather yeah and it was a left-hand drive car but it didn't feel out of the ordinary for me which is which is mad considering how big that car is yeah and how the a pillar kind of blocks most of the apex yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it was a load of fun so the biggest takeaways for me were massive sense of occasion big yep. drama yeah I just still don't think I can get around that gearbox. Yeah, but you have I mean, how had... do you feel? You now drive one of the slickest gearboxes in the Hurricane. Yeah. How do you so, think about that car? I think because of my love and bias towards Lamborghini. Yeah. You think you just... I'll just be like, yeah, it. it's part of the car. It's part of it. But <laughs> I'll probably get bored of it after a month. It feels like that car. It feels like the kind of thing that you need to get out of your system. Because, I mean, it's such a sense of occasion. But I reckon after you've lived with it for a few months, you'd be like, this is getting a bit tired. Yeah, like, but how many times do we talk about where else can you get a mid-engine V12 in a car? We talk about that all the time. And right now, there's this huge compromise. I think Lamborghini are in a position to clean up. Yeah. If they just stick a twin clutch in the next Aventador, then I would I would consider it ordered. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th I think they so many people that I know in the car community feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But it was an awesome experience. Awesome experience. Anyway, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. We now have to uh, head to the airport pretty quickly because we're mildly late. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Ciao.